Hello everybody and welcome back! Today we are just doing a little um, overview, review of my uh, batteries. So, uh, we are going through every battery we got here. We got some LiPos, we got some nickel metal hybrids, we got some uh, 3S, some 2S, some 1S. And by S I mean cells. So these got three cells. This got two cells, this only got one cell, and there's a little bit difference on the milliamps on the pack. So, depending on how much milliamps you got, depending on how big the battery is, the longer you can drive your car. So, for everyone who's uh, totally new to the battery and RC stuff, we have some different batteries. This usually, when you buy an RKR car, meaning ready to run. You get some batteries with it. This is a Dromeda battery, nickel metal hybrid, uh, 1300 amps. This is a Traxxas ID battery, nickel metal hybrid, also 1300, no, 1200 mAh. You see the size is almost exactly the same. The other one is a little bit bigger, so that's why this is 1300 and this is 1200. So a nickel metal hybrid uh, six cells uh, battery is on uh, 7.2 volts. Can go with the 2S uh, LiPo. That is uh, 2200 milliamps. This has uh, 7.4 volts. It doesn't have exactly as much as uh, bolted the other one, but this puts out a totally another punch than the nickel metal hybrids. And I've also heard that um, they use these batteries in the Tesla models. So Tesla cars drives on LiPo batteries, why wouldn't your RC do it? <laughs> we all know that Teslas are pretty quick. So what we got here is uh, nickel metal hybrid batteries. We got LiPo, 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 LiPo. So I only got four nickel metal hybrid uh, batteries and I rarely use them. It's because uh, they're not as fast as the other ones. Yeah, that's probably just the reason why I don't use them. So I have a little uh, different uh, things. I'm just gonna show you a little bit quick here before. I have some uh, different cars that I like to use these different batteries with and uh, some other things like these little 1S uh, LiPo batteries this is on five 520 milliamps goes into my little uh, Hubson drone so this one I use for the drones I got two of them so I can charge them up and I can use both of them and be out because you can only use it for like 5 10 minutes. So this is like 10 to 15 minutes of fun play time with the Hobson drone. I'm talking to you guys, but I'm talking to this guy. And uh, these uh, that are also 1S batteries, I use for my uh, FPV camera. The eShine TX02 and the TX03. And I have some uh, velcro on there, and I stick it inside the body and I just put it on the camera. I can also use these ones for the little camera, but I like to use these ones so I know I have battery on it. These ones I can also use on the drone, I tried it, but uh, the drone can't handle it, it's too heavy. So I have these two, and I have these two. These two? are from Maxam, they are 2S sleep LiPos on 1500 milliamps on each and I love these little things, they are, doesn't weigh anything or so they're really good these two are 3S LiPos, this is from GE Power, 13 milliamps, 25C and this is from Xmania, it's also 1300 milliamps, 25C you can see the difference on the height, I've showed the, this before I don't know why, but that's the way the cookie crumbles. And these four batteries, I 
almost only used for my Dromedas. So I really like these for my Dromedas because they are small and they are compact and put out a good bunch. The 2S uh, LiPos you can run for like 20 minutes. So this is like 40 minutes, a good fun. This is a little bit less, but yeah, and this destroys the car. <laughs> when you drive with the 3S LiPos, they destroy like the tires are totally worn out. Uh, what do you call them? The differentials and everything. So 3S LiPo, be careful with 3S LiPo, although it's really, really fun. Woo! <laughs> I'm a little bit sick, I have, a, have like a cold or something, so if I sound a little bit funny, I'm really sorry about that, but you can't do anything, and I really want to make a movie, so why not? Uh, these two are also two S LiPos, or a little bit bigger, 2200 mAh. They fit like a glove in the Dromedas too, but I don't use them for Dromedas. These two are three S LiPos. Uh, it's roughly the same size, like almost exactly the same size, but uh, they only have 1400 milliamps. But they are 3S, so there's a big difference between these two and these two. With these two, you can go like, let's say, like in kilometers, so you can go like 50, 50 like maybe something. And with this, I tried it and it went like 68. If you just saw the last movie on the speed run, I link it down below. And that was with the, the original uh, Spurger 50 tooth. I've now changed it to like 45 tooth. I think it will go a little bit faster now. So I'm hoping to go over 70 miles, no, 70 kilometers per hour. I don't know what that is, like 50 kilometers. We can shake it up a little bit fast. 43.5 miles per hour. 43.495835. That's right. For all you American fellers! <laughs> there was one guy who said uh, I sounded like Borat. I don't know if I do, but... My name is Borat. I like you. It's nice. But something like that, I don't know. I actually talked about all these now and the one S. The nickel metal hybrid batteries. Uh, I don't... Like I said, I don't use them. Like ever. Am I gonna use them a little bit now in the summer? Because the Dromedas, I don't really use them in the winter now. It's so slow with this, so I don't know. I've been really catching up with the 3S. It's so much fun, although you have to screw and do a little bit more mechanic stuff later, but who cares? It's fun. So, if you watch my latest videos, uh, you see that I've got a new truck, a uh, crawler TRX4. And with that, I could use my batteries, like, it's actually, you get like 20-30 minutes of runtime with these little batteries, but um, I wanted something more with weight, so I bought uh, another Jello RC, I li really love the Jello RC stuff, they do great batteries. Uh, this is 2S, 7600 milliamps, I don't know why I really choose 2S. It's, I think it was, I tried out with these two, and I didn't think that it gave out so much more punch. I, it's these two. And I thought that like, yeah, I can just go with 2S. But wrong was I. This is fine, this is great. But when I got the new servo, and I had to install it and everything with the BEC and stuff, and this also had 35C. Doesn't help with the BEC that uh, when it's fully charged, it's no problem. I can drive it and everything is fine. But when the this battery is turns down, to start to go low, like the lights go out when I turn and stuff like that. So, and it doesn't have anything to do with the BEC because I control it, so I know it's right. I got this one now. It's an Acra Hobby. 3S 5000 milliamps with 50C. With this one, I don't get that problem. I don't get that, that problem with this one either, so it doesn't have to do anything with the 50C. But the 3S, who has 11.1 volts, makes it much more reliable and yeah. So I should have bought like 3S from the beginning and not bought this one, but yeah, it's on me. I wanted it and I bought it and 
now I got two batteries. So one for the like little slower crawls and this is for like the heavier stuff. No, this one is uh, like fully charged, working all fine and everything. But when this goes out, I need to go over to this and this one I can go so much longer with. And uh, I could show you, I showed you before, but I got a lipo bag. This is for my uh, Dromedas. It's really handy, you just squish them in. Push in all the wires, lock it down, and my LiPo safe bag batteries for my Dromedas is ready. For my 1S batteries that I usually don't care out so much, take out with me so much, I just put in a little box here. It's the same box that I got the FPV camera in. So I know and I got a little extra charger there, I got my little uh, USB station over here, so I got the charge cable for it there, but I got an extra one, so if I want to charge both batteries at the same time, I can do that. And this one, as you can see, is a eShine TX03. So, I have my little uh, stash box, uh, it's not maybe the greatest, but, and for all my other batteries, I just put them down, I have like, this is uh, 3S 1400 and this is this one, but it's not uh, marked or anything I have a little padding in there, put it down, just like so I have marked it with the 3, so I know it's 3S and the other one, also 1400, but this has a cross on it so it's the white, so I know uh, which battery I use like this and this also has a 3 on it, then I have two, two S, the same, the red one goes in the red box. The nickel metal hydrogen batteries I don't have anything to store in, so they just put down here like this. And they are happy with that. Not maybe the best storage, but yeah, this is how I do it. And this 2S battery has the original package. Decent! So I always can keep clear of my batteries. Take this and put it down here. And we can take these two and put them down there. If you guys want me to do like a um, charging video where I show you how to charge the lipos and nickel metro hydrogen batteries, I can surely do that. It's no problem. Just put it down in the comments below or something, and I put out the video like that. And for now, I really hope that you enjoyed this video and. Uh, and for now, I really hope that you enjoyed this video and uh, share, like and subscribe, share, like and subscribe.